Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Jojo no Kimio na Boku and Diamond wa Kura Kenai, or you could call it Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Diamond is Unbreakable, which is on episode 12. This episode right here was pretty nice. Um, concludes the finale of Chili Pepper and what the result is going to be. <sighs> Excuse me. Those of you who, at, who read the manga or even watched the episode or currently watching the anime right now should know like um know what the result is you know so if anything else let's just get this started okay at the beginning of the episode we have to it that Jotaro ends up telling Josuke and Koichi to stay behind as he know as he has a feeling that um Chili Pepper is going to use his stand power to fly over a freaking airplane and kill Jojo you know Joseph obviously and eventually we have to it that um that Jotaro and Okuyasu decides to go meet up with the old man Joseph or Jojo in other cases and we have to it that um Chili Pepper shows himself physically along with his stand to fight Josuke and Koichi but apparently if I have to be really honest with myself Koichi did nothing but whine and scream like <laughs> If you even watched the episode or read the manga, which I'm only an anime only on the JoJo, honestly, you should know by now. <laughs> Anyways, Josuke ends up having a funny fight moment with um, Chili Pepper, say, and the guy says, I'm gonna beat you with my pinky whatsoever, and Josuke broke it after <laughs> after distracting him with a couple things, and he goes like, so what the hell is going on with you? And therefore, somehow Chili Pepper reattaches pinky somehow, and ends up playing the guitar. And he ends up managing to like put Joseph out of corner one time, but jo Josuke ends up using oil around the port and managed to like um know where Chili Pepper is at apparently. And we have to it that Chili Pepper decides to use all of his electricity after getting hit by Josuke millions of times, which is over a thousand hits obviously, <laughs> or millions. I don't give a f whatever. <laughs> Sorry. He ends up overpowering Josuke, but Josuke ends up hitting hitting a freaking trap, a machine at port, and traps the stand user in the tire. But his the chili pepper stand ends up breaking out of there, you know? Oh yeah, the chili chili pepper stand user is known to be a guitarist, honestly. And apparently we get to know his goal before then, and of course, like I'm going back to where Chili Pepper popped the tire, he ends up going in the water and ends up dispersing, which is really freaking hilarious. Not to mention about like um somehow I don't even know how he managed to escape, but he managed to get onto jo on Joseph Jojo's boat or Joseph's boat, and he was about to kill him. But there were between two people that was known to be trying to frame each other for the enemy. But it was pretty obvious it was the purple hair. I would have been upset if Okiyasu chose the wrong guy, but thank goodness he didn't choose the wrong guy and knocks out freaking like um Chili Pepper, you know, and so forth. And therefore it came out like that and we see that um we see we get to see joseph you know well we did see joseph earlier but josuke gets to see joseph and after his cane broke and he was about to fall josuke decides to help him and tells him hold my hand will you and therefore that was a really sweet moment you know i really won't deny that it was a really really nice sweet moment because even though josuke just did not see his father or even if he's old or something he decides to help him out and bond with him a bit, which is really sweet. We also get to know that Jojo is suffering from amnesia very much. I mean, when you grow old, eventually you're going to lose a lot of, like, um, memories, etc. about what's to come, you know? That kind of thing. So, we have to it that, um, Josuke ends up bonding with him, and Jotaro's like, Okay, the only thing is, we just got to find a bow and arrow, and we're good. But apparently there's an ending scene where there's a hand taking a shower, but apparently that per another person picks up that hand and it's actually decapitated. In other words, cut off. So, yeah, according to my friends, apparently, he, they told me that that person is going to be possibly, is going to be the antagonist, which it's already obvious, but I didn't want them to say anymore. But I read up, I kind of look, um, look like I read it in. Yeah, that's about it. Anyways, this episode was pretty nice. Had a lot of fun. So I look forward to the um, next um, ep 
ne next episode. Hopefully, like, um, it does really well. So until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.